What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. We're today having a look at speed once again, aka 10 minute flash, aka sexy. I know I got in trouble from a lot of people, a lot of people getting mad at me, saying that I was uh, baiting them into clicking the video because I put 10 minute flash instead of speed, but... Hey, you gotta play the algorithm game, man. You gotta play that game. We all play it. We all do it. Gotta get some clicks, you know what I'm saying? We gotta gotta even have that name flash in the title. Gets more eyes on your content. It is what it is. That's his name. I didn't tell him to choose that name. That was his original name, 10 Minute Flash, because he can play the game like Flash for 10 minutes, and he's got to try to, try to do that today. He's up against Soul Key here in the top left. The ASL champion, current ASL champion, who is in the ASL this season, waiting in the round of 16. Speed has made it into this season of ASL, and we may see him and you know Soul Key face off. It's a low possibility, I think. I don't know if Speed will have any chance of making it into the round of 16, but hey, remains to be seen. We can't judge it. Just yet. We haven't seen his performance here. I think he might get taken out by a Protoss, but that's just me. Maybe maybe even a Terran. If he gets taken out by a Zerg, I might be surprised. He's very good in TVZ, I think. Has some interesting takes on the matchup, that's for sure. And taking a look at Soul Key's build here, he's going to be popping out a couple pairs of links. This is actually... What I like to do as well, just get four lings in the early game because it's so common these days for a marine to head across the map and just kind of torment you. Try to check and see if you're building enough lings, and if you're not, you can lose the game just like that. The lings all die, the marines come in, they start to kill drones, things get out of control, and before you know it, you are light years behind. So producing four lings does keep you quite safe. With the Ling speed here on the way as well. He's going to be feeling pretty good. Ling's just chasing down this SCV. Trying their best here. This is one of our new maps. And it is close positions as well. This is an interesting map because it's not rotationally symmetric. right? Most modern maps are rotationally symmetric if they're a four-player map. But this one, bucking the trend, going for an non-rotationally symmetrical map it's interesting i like to see it i like to see map makers getting a little bit creative with what they're pulling out and here we go spire second gas coming down right now oh ling run by here into the natural getting some kills on some of these marines this marine may end up going down as well the links are pretty low though they will be pushed away. I guess that was about four, maybe, Marines that went down there. A pretty nice little move here by Soul Key. Bringing up a few links. I wasn't even aware of that at the moment when it occurred. Sneaky move here by Soul Key. Getting in there and dealing some damage against a player with a wall. You don't normally see that actually be effective. And generally, I don't even try. If I see a wall like this, I'm like, all right. Well, we're just not going to do anything with that. We're just going to sit back and uh, play our game, get into our mutas and that. But Soul and Key finding a way in, wiggling through this tight little choke, managing to get some damage there. Pretty well done by him. And now the Marines and Medics are moving out here on the field. We are going to have to produce one Sunken. He scans, he sees the Sunken is being made. Does have to stay back a little bit here. He doesn't have any more Marines or Firebats popping out just yet. He's, in fact, not making any Firebats. Going to float the Barracks back into the main here. And what do we have for the follow-up? We've got plus one on the way and a third Barracks coming down. I think we'll probably stick with three Barracks play here. Go into a factory. Solki, on the other hand, grabbing a Natural in the bottom left. That is an interesting choice. Grabbing the Natural has become more and more popular as of late. Not making this into a sunken colony instead. Making sure that he can pump out as many mutilus as possible. Gonna have about six mutilus hitting the field here at six minutes. Not that very important. Number seven though, just yet. 
Number seven is where you can... Oh, there's only five mutalists here. Am I wrong? Yeah, five mutas. Okay, there's the sixth. But seven mutas will one-shot SCVs, so... Only having six here is a bit of a an issue. We will get that seventh now, finally, and the harassment can begin. We're looking for any pickoffs he can find. Medic would be nice. Not going to get that just yet. S speed being careful here. Not allowing that to go down. We've got the bunker in the front, but that does not protect the supply depot sufficiently here to where Solki can't poke it. Coming out on the map. So, uh, speed now has range. So he can start to fight the Mutalus pretty well here. Mutalists are going to come forward, but speed keeping everything grouped up pretty closely. Third gas is on the way here. Going to continue to bash away at this supply depot. And we're already supply blocked here. So that supply depot that just finished up, not going to unsupply block us. Luckily, he had two more on the way. And with 11 mutas now, Solki going to start to bash at this natural, taking out one of the turrets. Speed going to threaten by heading out on the map here. Unfortunately, going to lose three Marines, four Marines immediately with hardly doing any damage to this Mutalist flock. It's shocking how well a player like Solki can dismantle a Terran force as it's moving out on the field. But look at just how beautifully done this ASL champion. Making it look easy here. Deleting that Marine squadron. And now we've got full 11 with some more in the pocket here three extras with hydra stand and queen's nest immediately thrown down is this just going to be a bop is soul key just going to completely dismantle this terran player well we're gonna have our control tower and armory coming up here that means valkyries are going to be on the way it's a nice response to the mass muta but it's not going to help out too much against this uh, Lurker transition that's coming up here. It, it may allow Speed to get out on the map and potentially, you know, force some kind of response. Maybe, you know, get some more Sunkins built or something. We ha don't have that Lurker upgrade done yet. And the Valkyrie is about to pop out. But for my money, I bet that we're going to see Solki just fight this. If we've only got one Valkyrie here, he can just fight with the Mutas. And pick off the Valkyrie and win that. Uh, win that way. Just push back the Marines once again. We're going to have to be very careful with that first Valkyrie. And as we get up to two, three Valkyries, that's when the Mutas are not going to be able to actually contend any longer with the air superiority of the Terran. Now moving forward here with the Marines. But the Mutalists are on top of them already. Pretty good control here by Speed. Bringing up the first Valkyrie. Dealing some damage. He's going to start to push forward. Does need to be careful here. You do not want to lose this first Valkyrie. And this Marine Medic Clump that's moving out of the map is very vulnerable at the moment. Oh, you definitely don't want to start shooting that Overlord. That, let me tell you that. You do not want to be shooting that Overlord right now. That overlord, that ain't, that overlord is not worth it. Almost losing the Valkyrie and not even getting the overlord. This is, um, <laughs> this is not very good for Terran. Let me tell you that. This is, this is very, very bad for him right now. He really wants to get a volley off here, but he's got this low HP Valkyrie. Here comes the Scourge. Bringing up the Marines to deal with that. Pretty nicely done. Needs to repair this Valkyrie, though, and wait for the third one to pop. Got to repair. Go, go back home and repair. Oh, my God. He didn't repair that. That's tragic. The Valkyries here. Only being one in number is brutal. Two is okay. Three is fantastic, but... He's never going to get to that number if he keeps letting them get shot down by the Mutalus. Of Solki and Solki now has the Lurker. He has the eye on a fourth base here up on that high ground. Speed is going to come forward here and try to maybe break through. I'm not sure. We've got three Lurker, four Lurker in position. Do we have dropships on the way? Yes, we do. I think Solki absolutely fully aware of what is the potential from Speed right now. Look at all the lurkers being set up here. Oh my goodness. 
Could he break through the natural? Maybe breaking the natural is the right call. Just go for the natural right now. If the lurkers try to come down, you can target them as they come down the ramp. No, he's not going to go for it. Instead, looking to load up a dropship here. We're going to have another scan. That's the main base there. A lot of drop defense in that main right now. And looks like Speed wants to take a third base, but... Going to be denied for now. Sulky on top of everything here. Some... Oh, God. Four drops. Oh, four drops are going to come out here, guys. Is he going to come down here? Maybe if he drops right here, he could kill these uh, these buildings over here. But, oh, man. This is scary, guys. I don't know about this. I really don't know too much about this one. We've got Consume just about to finish here. He's coming forward. He does the scan. The scan of the natural. We've got two lurkers here under that. Overlord. He's going to come forward with the Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is going to immediately get killed. Dropping on top of all of this. What are we doing right now? Dark Swarm comes down. The lurkers just ripping everything apart. What? <laughs> what? Wait a second. This is insanity. Speed drops on top of the lurkers. Isn't that the exact opposite of what you would ever want to do? I could see if he tried to drop back here, maybe and surround the lurkers, but dropping right on top? Oh, this is this is a new level speed. What have we done? Absolutely ridiculous game here. Well, speed. I think he's hoping he's not gonna run into Soul Key. In his ASL run this season because Sulky just dominating performance. This really makes me want to play some more ladder right now. Just the the way that Sulky pulls speed apart here. The ease of his control with the early game mutas. The transition perfectly done. The drop defense absolutely fantastic. Everything went perfectly here for Sulky. Even the having... You know, these overlords over here. He's making sure that this is covered for drops. He's got the drop defense here. He's got a very tight little natural. Look at this. Lurkers stacked up over here. Lurkers here. He's got four lurkers there. Plus the lurkers here in the mineral line. Just in case there was a drop back here somewhere. I thought maybe he could have dropped up here. Deny the fourth. And try to like kill the hydralist den and that type of thing. But yikes. Going for the natural like that. Speed, throwing the game away. I mean, it wasn't really his to throw. But all of his lotto ships landing on Snake Eyes, man. Good God. That was a painful bet and a painful loss here for Speed. I hope he comes out with some better strategies in the ASL. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been your Daily Dose of Brood War, and I'll see you tomorrow.